Dwarf planet. Have you ever heard of this concept? Do dwarf planets have a modest height compared to other planets? In fact, dwarf planets are objects orbiting the sun that have a planetary mass but are smaller than the eight official planets of the solar system. It is estimated that there must be hundreds of different dwarf planets of which the most known is probably Pluto. Pluto is now considered the largest member of a separate region called the Kuiper Belt. Like the other members of this belt, it consists mainly of rock and ice and is relatively small in size, approximately one-fifth of the Earth's mass and one-third of the Moon's volume. Pluto was discovered in 1930 and until 2006, it was considered the ninth member of the solar system. However, after 2006, whether Pluto was actually a planet was still a controversy among scientists. And why? Let's find out. Since the spacecraft New Horizons was launched on January 2006, successfully approaching Pluto, experts around the world have organized a competition to find a name for the new planet. The 11-year-old Venetia Burney from Oxford, England, chose the name Pluto for this dwarf planet because it is dark and far away from the Earth, like the god Hades or Pluto, the god of hell in ancient Greek mythology. The main satellite of this planet, Charon, was named after the man who carried the soul across the Styx River to the abyss. Before 2006, Pluto was always considered the ninth planet of the solar system. But in the late 20th century and the early 21st century, scientists found more and more objects that have the same mass as Pluto. And as a result, the International Astronomical Union has established a new definition in which celestial bodies that want to be considered planets need to meet certain standards. First, it must have an orbit around the Sun. Second, it must have the gravity that is strong enough to form a sphere shape. Third, the planet's arbitrary vicinity has to be cleared in the formation process because Pluto's neighborhood is the Kuiper belt with so many celestial bodies, some of them even with greater mass than the Pluto itself. Pluto is no longer called a planet, and since then, there are only eight planets left in the Antarctic system, which is why Pluto has been designated a dwarf planet. Despite being abandoned, Pluto is not alone in attracting a large number of supporters Recently, Alan Stern and David Grinspoon, two astronomers in the New Horizons project, published an article in the Washington Post which contains highly credible arguments about demanding justice for Pluto. According to Stern and Grinspoon, the definition is no longer appropriate. First of all, if you look at the three criteria, the Earth may not considered a planet anymore because there are still so many mysterious bodies around us that have not been cleared. Moreover, this definition does not apply to exoplanets, planets outside the solar system. And in the end, both of them argue that Pluto is perfectly qualified as planet. The reason, Stern says, is simply because when we see a planet with characteristics such as icebergs, glaciers from nitrogen, a green sky with an enclosed atmosphere, which is called it a planet, and Pluto is exactly like that. In 2017, Stern and Grinspoon proposed an additional criterion for defining planets, which is sphere-shaped objects smaller than a star. But unfortunately, not many scientists support this definition, because if so, the moon could also be considered a planet. Some of the leading astronomers such as Neil deGrasse, did not assume that Pluto was a planet. Overall, whether Pluto will return to being a planet is unclear. The only thing we know is that the debate around it will continue for a very long time in the future. As for you, does Pluto deserve to be recognized as a planet? Please let me know under the comments. And see you in the next video.